this afternoon. I'm going to ask that you uh, just be a part of this as we share the sponsors of God's parents with uh, the Simons and Joris and Romano will be called up in a few minutes. They'll be prepared to do that. Okay? I'm not going to be good at holding this and holding that there. Plus, chance of me getting hit in the nose this way. There you go. Uh, we've come at the invitation of Brina and Aaron to share this very precious, serious, and yet joyous occasion. It is always a joy when new life comes to bless a home. This home has been blessed by the birth of Amari Frank. We thank God for his life and his safety and healthy birth. We thank God for his growth over the last several weeks. Since God has been gracious to Rain and Aaron, we are gathered here today to dedicate this home and especially our Amari Frank to a great and wonderful God. God has established the home as one of the most vital institutions on earth. God said to Adam and Eve, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Since that time, God has blessed man and woman with the wonder of birth. The birth of Amari Frank has blessed man and woman and a great blessing to their home and others. We can take our rule of faith and practice for this service this afternoon from God's word, the Bible. We find several accounts in the Bible of children being dedicated to God. In the Old Testament, Samuel was dedicated to God in 1 Samuel 1, 20 through 28. In the New Testament, Jesus was dedicated to God in Luke 2, 22 and 23. So we come today not only to ask God's special blessings on this life, but also to challenge and encourage Rena and Mary to be godly mother and father who will love and care for Amari Frank and to give him every opportunity to live the kind of life that God wants us to live. So in this act of dedication, I ask these questions. Do you, Raina and Aaron, present Amara Frank to God? Do you stand before us and before God today seeking to be godly parents? Do you commit before God and these witnesses that you do all that is within your power to maintain a home where Amari Frank will be cared for and loved, and do you commit to rearing his child to love and honor God with all his heart? With that, I remind you again that God has graciously given you this child. He belongs to you, but in a greater way, he belongs to God. I remind you of the great responsibility that is placed on you because of the birth of this child. God has given you the task of caring for his physical needs of clothing, food, shelter, love, and discipline. Even more importantly, you are also charged with the responsibility of his spiritual needs. We are more than just physical. We are spiritual. You are charged with responsibility of seeing that your child is in God's house learning about God. Let's teach them to honor, love, and to worship God. You are charged with teaching this child God's holy word. You must teach him godly Christian morals and values and how to know God's will for his life by teaching him to love the Bible. Yes, God has given us this home, father, mother, and children. The home was the first institution brought into existence. Now the church has been given by Christ. These two have been brought together to faithfully train and encourage. Would the godparents please come? The godparents please. Would you come up here? Oh, Ara, are you okay? Sit down. Would you just stand on each side of Aaron and, and Rena, please come? Stand up right here. <laughs> I 
your room. It's a warm room. <laughs> We're getting cozy here. We're getting cozy. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. As a symbol of our united commitment to these families, please stand and re respond to this important question. Do you, your family, Simon and Romanos, commit yourselves to do everything you can in formal roles of service and in informal family assistance to the parents in the fulfillment of these vows of dedication they have just made? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Praise the Lord. The Church of Jesus Christ stands nearby to assist this home in every way we can. To probably teach this child to live to the fullest. It's God's plan that the home and church unite forces to train this child so that when he reaches the age of accountability, accountability for his own actions, he will personally accept Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior and be responsible for his own actions. There will be to be ready for Christian baptism, and they will follow Jesus as he is Lord and Savior. But you, Rena and Aaron, are responsible to do your part as well in rearing him, not only to be a child of knowledge and grace, but to be a child of faith. Do you rejoice in this responsibility and gladly accept it before God and those who are gathered here today? Yes, we yes, do. Heavenly Father, for the glorious sight this is today. Devoted and blessed parents stand before you with the gifts of infinite value that you've entrusted to their care. We celebrate with them this afternoon and pray that you will fill these moms and dads here with an abundance of wisdom. Enable them to be parents that will make a difference in the lifetime of their sons and daughters. Help them, Father, to stay in tune with your Holy Spirit as you provide them with the internal guidance system that they need for their children. Bless their homes with warmth, provision, and safety. Fill their grandparents and extended families with your love so they will experience kindness, mercy, and hope with regularity. Prepare each of these precious souls for the abundant life that is found in you. As a church, we open ourselves in a fresh way to be used by you to help shape and encourage these families. We pray this in the name of the one who blesses children as no other, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 My friends, brothers, and sisters, this is the Mare Frank Arsula. May you look at him for two days and years as you look upon him today with love and caring. Look out for his welfare and well-being. And be a, a blessing to his parents. We ask these things of you. That's just the Pass the mga ano, ninong, one by one. Pass mo. Pass mo. Wag yun ang ihulog. Isa pa daw, Ate Janet. Isa pa daw. Isa pa daw. Isa pa daw. I don't mind. Isa pa daw. Ayan ha, ayan ha. Isa pa daw. Isa pa daw. From the oldest to the youngest. Bagay, bagay. Bagay, bagay. Ano dahil? Are you Frank or Celia Jor? Jor? Palagay ka kay Kuya. Oh.